Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so now let's quickly talk about the system.out.println statement. Okay, so this is our previous um, program we wrote. I'm just going to make a copy of this, save this as, um, hold on one second. File, save as, I'm going to save it as in the learn Java folder. I'm going to create another folder and call it system.out.println. Oops. <laughs> uh, just yeah, just to print Alan. I'm not sure if I should keep on saving these in folders. It takes time, huh? All right, so let's just save this here, and I'll go ahead and make a copy of this um, here. Okay, so we can see a line just like that. System dot now the purpose of this line, system dot is to display content on the screen, right? It's to display exactly what's in between the two parentheses without the quotation marks. So if I compile this, which we've already done, it says compilation completed. Remember, compi compiling is is basically translating our code into machine language so the machine can understand it and run it. So when I click run, it can run. So, like I said, the purpose of this program, and actually the purpose of this line, sitting without the print ln, is to display this on the screen. Now, just to give you, you don't have to worry about this too much, system that out to print ln, but just to give you an idea of what it is, okay? Think of this as, think of out as being a member of the system. Think of out as being part of system. And think of print ln, okay? ln stands for line, by the way, as being a member of out, okay? The, the actual terms for this is this is a class, this is an object, and this is a method. Now remember I said methods are simply a series of uh, re um, related um, statements, programming statements. It can be one or more. That is just wrapped up with curly braces, okay, wrapped up and given a name. So for example, this is a method. It's wrapped up with curly braces. This is the body of it, one line of the, me of the method and its name is main, okay? Now these other things are needed for it to work. Don't worry about it too much, like I said. Don't even worry your head about it. Um, like I said, all just know that every every Java program you write is going to have a main method. And every Java program you, you, you're going to write is going to have one public class, uh, one public class. You can have multiple classes, but you can have only one public class. And then your program is going to have also one uh, main method. Okay, so back to the system that out of print and again, don't worry about this too much. Just know that the purpose of this statement is to display stuff on the screen. Now, you can see that it's displaying this is our first Java program without the quotation marks. Basically, what goes into these two parentheses is called an argument, all right? So it's displaying an argument. If I change this to, okay, uh, let's say uh, my name, Kakra right and I run uh, first of all compile it so the computer can understand it and then run it it's displaying Kakra it's not now th this is not part of the output okay the green is part of the output let me just take this up a little bit it's displaying what in the parentheses without the quotation marks and what's in the parentheses with the quotation marks okay is the arguments when it's displayed it doesn't display with the quotation marks but when you're writing it in as an argument you add the quotation marks if it's a string, remember we said a string literal, we'll talk more about strings, but a string is basically a series of characters jumbled up together like that. That's a string literal. Okay, so when you are, when you, when, when it's being typed into these parentheses, it's an argument. So now this system without the print in statement, the purpose of it is to print it on the screen. It's printed an argument without the quotations. Now one thing you have to know about the print ln statement. There's a reason why this is this ln okay is there. There's a, there's a reason why it says print ln. Print uh, ln stands for line, right? Print line. Now what it, what this means is this: after it prints out Kakra, right? So let's just do this. Let, let me just change the uh, the text, the string literal to first line, and compile this and then run it. So we expect it to display first line, right? But after it prints out the first this this string first line 
it's also moving the position. So after I print out the first line, because it's print ln, you would think this way. It's going to print out print first line like this. And then after it's done, it's going to move the position from where it's at right now here to the next line. So anything that comes after this is going to be displayed on that next line. So if I make a copy of this line here, and I paste it here a couple of times like this. So I say first line, change this to second line, change this to third line, change this to fourth line, and compile this and run it. We can see that they are all displayed on separate lines. That's because this system that I'll dot print line, okay, you can see that it says print ln, print line. It prints out first line, so we can see first line here. But because it says print line, it's going to move the position from where it's at to the next line. So the, the position will be here. And the next thing that, that's going to be printed is sis, uh, second line. And it prints out a second line. But by default, that's how it works. After it prints out what you've told it to print, which is a second line, it moves the position from where it's at here to the next line. Okay, And anything that comes after it, which is third line, is displayed on that next line here. After third line, it prints third line, but then it moves the position from where it's at over here to the next line. And that's why fourth line is displayed on the, on the next line. Okay, There's another version of it, which is print, and we'll talk about it in the next video. So, But for now, just know that system.out.println, okay, think of it as code that is already written for you. By the by the by the creators of the Java language, they, it's they've already written it out for you. It's stored in something called the Java API. We'll talk more about it again. For now, just don't worry about the big terms and everything. Just get familiar with the language. We'll talk more about it. Just think of it right now as just a method because the print ln okay is a method, and we said a method does something. It's a series of related code okay wrapped up and given a name, and anytime that name is used, it does, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. This print element statement, its job is to print out the argument you pass into the two parentheses without the quotation. Okay, it passes, uh, it prints out that for you. And again, because of this ln here, print line, it prints out what, whatever you want it to print. But at the same time, when it's done, it moves the position from where it's at to the next line. That's because of the line at the end of it. There's another version, okay, called print, and we'll talk about that in the next video. For now, just know that for now you know about print line and you know how it works, okay. So that so that's all about print line. I just wanted to mention I, I was supposed to mention in the last video. We can see there are spaces here, okay, lines, these empty lines here. It doesn't affect your program. This is just to make your program readable. So you can have multiple lines here. We can compile this again. We can run it, run it and it's still going to give us the same method. This is just to make our pr program readable. You can close, you can basically close, close this. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. We can close this, you can close it some more here, close it some more here, and it's still going to work, right? And it's still going to work just fine, right? It's just to make our programs readable, spaced out nicely so we can see it uh, clearly. I can add a space here just so I can see it. All right, so that was just by the way. But the purpose of this video was to show you how system.out.println works. Um, so yeah, we'll talk more about, uh, as we learn Java, we'll talk more about it. And there's another version of it called print, which I said we'll, we'll talk about it in the next video. But for now, just know that this is how print, print line works. It displays what you want it to display, and it ends with a new line, new line. All right, so we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye-bye.